Most of us have difficulty with something that's missing. Say, for example, you're driving along the road and the road is not flat. There are actually potholes or even uh, trenches and, and, and bits missing. And uh, you think to yourself, well, you know, somebody should have filled these gaps, especially when it's a rainy season or especially when it's difficult to see what the conditions of the road are like. You always seem to think uh, to ourselves that I wish somebody had filled these empty spaces or filled these gaps. There are gaps in our lives and we are not always aware of them. We're not always aware of what we need or even the fact that they need to be filled. So please join me for uh, the next couple of uh, Mondays as we share together in the Word of God and look at how to fill the gap. My name is Reverend Kwame Rubadiri. You're watching Sitam Church Online. How do we fill certain gaps in our lives? In the fourth chapter of the Old Testament book of Nehemiah, uh, Nehemiah had the great responsibility of filling one of the most important gaps that existed, restoring the walls that had been burnt down and broken surrounding Jerusalem, the walls of protection, the walls that showed uh, the presence of this great capital city uh, of Israel. Well, as they go about building the walls, of course, it's a lot of different work and they're different people, but they often find that they're opposed. And uh, one of the things that I believe uh, this experience, this lesson from Nehemiah teaches us is about how to fill the gap of commitment. Let's look at the text itself. This is what uh, Nehemiah chapter four, verse six says. So we rebuilt the wall till all of it reached half of its height. For the people worked with all of their heart. Verse 7 says that when Sanballat, Tobiah, the, and the Arabs, the Amorites, and uh, uh, the people of Ashdod heard that the repairs of Jerusalem's wall had gone ahead and that the gaps were being closed, they were very angry. One of the ways to rebuild a gap uh, or the gap of commitment in our lives is to ask God to help us uh, really search our hearts. Search our hearts. Does, does what we're doing really matter? Uh, are, we, are we really making uh, a focused commitment to, to this work? Am I driven by some different motive or am I truly driven because I want to glorify God? I want to do something in my life that pleases Him. Many times because we, are, we have a gap, maybe a financial gap, or we have a gap, an emotional gap in our lives, uh, our motivations to fill those gaps are not resting truly in the Lord. They're not resting truly in His purpose in our lives. And if you find yourself wondering, how am I going to fill any particular gap, and particularly the gap of commitment in your life, retrace your steps, retrace your motivation, and ask God to show you if you truly have the commitment it takes to do what's ahead of you. You may be facing all kinds of opposition in your life right now, and particularly in an area or something that you want to accomplish and you need very quickly to get done or finished. Well, ask God to give you a fresh commitment to renew a desire, to re, uh, um, stir, stir up and to, to put into your spirit and into your heart a fresh desire to see the work completed. Let there be a fresh commitment in you in order to fill the gap of commitment. Please join us again next time we look at other gaps to fill in our lives. If uh, this has been a blessing to you, please share, subscribe, let others know that uh, every single day, uh, wherever you might be on the internet, there will always be something that God wants to say in your life. God bless.